In today's video, we are doing some outfit inspiration. We are doing what I wore in a week. But first of all, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Marlene and outfit inspiration is one of those things that is very highly sought after here on my channel. I constantly get requests for more outfit inspiration, especially to cover the apple shaped body. I am a plus size babe, but I'm also an apple shape. I have a big belly and I have a large chest as well. So some outfit inspiration for the apple shaped body, but hopefully you can get inspiration for it no matter what shape you have. Per usual, I will link as much as I can in the description box but this video is all about taking the inspiration from the outfits that I'm sharing going into your wardrobe and recreate it as best as you can for your body shape all right but I've yapped on enough some outfit inspiration coming right up I will just be upfront and let you know that today's video is a recreation of the past week's outfit. I have had a mental week, so I didn't get time to film anything. Most of my outfits are practical. They have to be practical due to the lifestyle and where I live. So that's kind of what I'm going with. Also, you'll probably see that I don't wear a lot of jewelry as the week go along. So do consider the fact that you can always add jewelry and accessories to your outfits if that's what you want, all right? But I'm starting out with what I actually threw on this morning when I got up. As I said, practicality is key for me. And normally I actually always start by considering shoes when I get dressed now. It's a method I've started using lately because I have to consider practical shoes in my lifestyle. So this morning I started off with a little faux leather sneaker. These ones are from Primark. They're very inexpensive. They don't have a lot of support in them. So I will say invest in a little insole that you can throw in if you need that. That's what I do. And I absolutely love them. Wide leg trousers, as you may know, are my absolute go-to. And this pair here is a pair that I picked up on Sheen not that long ago. I'll of course link them if they are still available, but they just have a perfect fit on me they pull me in at the waist and give me a little bit of that illusion of a waist but they are loose and they're comfortable and the fabric is still thick enough for this kind of in-between weather we're having at the moment per usual i threw on a basic t-shirt they're very inexpensive i buy mine in primark they are a fantastic basic to have in the wardrobe and they go with so many things that i have in my wardrobe which is why you'll see me wear them most of the time now to tie the two pieces together, I went with a belt. And because these trousers are quite high waisted, I wanted to lower that waist a little bit because this is where my natural waist is. So I added the belt in the same color as the t-shirt because it just draws the eyes down a little bit further versus if the trousers were up here and my trousers would basically meet my bust. It just gives the wrong proportion. I followed the rule of third per usual. And this just is absolutely perfect. The belt also draw the eye away from my bulging belly that I don't particularly want people to notice. I want them to notice the bling on my belt and then the light colors would draw their eye upwards. Now to tie it all together and to be practical with the weather, I threw on this long duster cardigan. This is one I picked up on Boohoo for uh, quite some time ago, but it's just a knitted cardigan. Basically only it's long. For bling, I just per usual wear my normal rings and my 40 year old hoops earrings. Absolutely love them, have them since I was three years old. My favorite, but this is my outfit for today. It's very practical, it's put together. I could jazz it up with more bling if I wanted to, but I am cozy and comfortable. And best of all, it just, it hides and shapes and do what I need the outfit to do. So I'm not considering my size or my shape at all. I'm just comfortable and confident in this outfit. The outfit I just showed you was heavily inspired by the one I'm wearing now. This is what I wore yesterday. I'm not really 100% sure I like this. I think it's kind of, it's very bland, is it? Because it's the same colors and there is no color. It's just this like creamy, whitish, beigey color. I kind of think maybe it's a little bit too boring. I don't know. I am wearing a Reebok runner. Again, practical shoes that I can run around in. These are jeans kind of style of a, a trouser. They're from H&M and I still think they have them. They're absolutely fantastic. These are actually quite big. Mine are size 3XL. I could definitely try and size down in them. But I love them and they're just so comfy. Again, the same trick with the belt, drawing the attention to my waist, lowering that waist just a little bit with the belt. And then I have a little stripy t-shirt on. This t-shirt here is actually one I bought in Primark. It's like, must be about a year, year and a half ago since I bought it. Still had the tags on. I absolutely love it, but just never knew what to wear it with. Now I found its perfect partner. And then I thought I'm going to add the cardigan in the same color on top. But this is where I'm kind of thinking maybe it's a bit too much. 
I'm not quite sure. I don't know if I would actually recreate this outfit as it again, but it may be just a different duster or something like that on top of it. It might just do the trick. I really do like it. And as I said, I'm trying to kind of bring that brightness and lightness into my outfits at the moment. I'm really craving a proper spring. I really, really am. I'm not going to lie to you. So this is my second outfit following the same rules that I described in my first outfit. Yeah, I might have to tweak this one with a different cardigan. But other than that, I really love these two pieces together. I wore this outfit on Tuesday and Tuesday was supposed to just be an office day. I had office work to do in the morning and then I had a consultation on the computer as well with a new client Tuesday afternoon. So it was just supposed to be a day where I was in the office and could be cozy. So I threw on my favorite pair of jeans. These are boot cut ones and I don't know if you can tell they're in the light, but they do have like a little tie belt attached to them. So they're kind of stylish put together, but they're very easy. Because I was just sitting in the office, I wanted a jumper, but I didn't need to have a thick jumper on because I have an actual fireplace in there. So I threw on this gorgeous burnt orange jumper. Now, because I had the consultation, I thought I'd throw on a wee necklace just to kind of bling it up a little bit. And I absolutely love this one. Again, this is one I picked up on. I think the entire outfit is actually from Sheen, to be honest with you. But my day ended up being running all over the place. Hence why I brought in the coat because this outfit is just kind of, you know, it shows all the lumps and bumps kind of thing. But when I'm just home, I don't mind. But going out, I thought, what'll I do? So I picked up my brown coat before I ran out the door and I threw that over. It ties this burnt orange color together so well. I did throw on black boots instead of brown boots simply because I thought they kind of went better with the jeans. They're also far more practical because they have a great grip, these boots here. The jacket or the coat, sorry, can actually close up and give me that definition of a waist as well. Absolutely love this outfit and it's so easy and so cozy and so simply put together. And it, it did fantastic for what I had to do that day. But yeah, my day got caught out. So I'm glad I kind of was still put together, but I'm still very, very cozy in this outfit. On Monday, I had loads of errands to run. And again, I had office work in the evening and another client in the evening as well. So again, I wanted to be put together, but I wanted to be cozy and comfy as well. Now I've actually broken my own rules a little bit here of the rule of third. And I'll explain it in a minute, but let's start at the bottom. Same black boots. I'm pretty much wearing these most days at the moment. They're just so comfortable and they are just perfect for the weather and train that we live in. I have a pair of legging trousers on. They do sit like leggings, so it's just an elasticated waist. Where did I get them from? Was it Rose Girl, I think? Um, but normally, as I always talk about the rule of thirds, with these trousers here, however, I don't like the top half of them. I do like them, but because they are the lighter piece in my outfit, they draw attention to my belly. So hence why I've actually pulled the t-shirt over to just kind of disguise the top half. It emphasizes my legs in this one and I have reasonably shaped the legs, I'm being told. So I think I can get away with this even though it doesn't follow my rule of thirds anyway. I really do like it. It's a little bit more edgy. It is just all black. Again, I, I don't remember did I wear a necklace that day. I probably didn't because I don't normally, but my trusty old blazer on top adds the structure to this outfit. I love this outfit. Again, it's really cozy. It's really, really comfy. Oh, I'm tripping over the carpet here now. Um, just a great little outfit. And this is, as well, if you don't like tuck it in like I normally do, this could be an option for you as well. This is what I wore on Sunday and I picked this because I wanted to try out these two pieces. They go very well together, but I haven't worn the pieces for a while and I was kind of wondering why. So I thought because I was home, I thought I'm just going to throw it on and see how I feel. And that's how I decide whether or not it's time for a piece to go. If I don't feel comfortable in it anymore, if I can't kind of get it styled up so I feel confident, that's when I let it go. But I love this outfit here and I'm kind of like, why haven't I worn it for so long? This is a faux leather trousers. They're an old pair that I picked up. I think they're from Astas and I think the top is as well, actually. I threw it on with a pointy pair of flats. Now on Sunday, I wasn't actually wearing shoes because I was home all day. But if I had been going out, I would have thrown on the flats. They are like a looser pair, like a straight pair. 
absolutely love them. They are really, really comfortable and they're so soft on the inside as well. And then this kind of Dalmatian leopard print, I don't even know what you want to call this print, kind of blouse here. I love it because it has this collar and you can see the collar in person, but it just kind of melts into the top. So it's a detail that's there, but you don't really notice it unless you're looking. Do you get where I'm coming from? I just love this blouse and I gave it a French tuck and then just left it hanging out in the back. It's how I feel most comfortable wearing a blouse. It's not as restricted as when you have a full tuck, but it's not as slouchy as when you just keep it hanging loose. Still keeping my proportions in check. It's a great little outfit. And now that I have it kind of worn again, because I ended up wearing it all Sunday, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna definitely gonna do some more with these pieces here. As I said, nice, easy outfit, but it looks really good. On Saturday, I wore something very, very different. I'm starting off with the coat because if I had been going out, now I didn't go out again on Saturday, this is what I would have been wearing. The same a big chunky boot and then just a black coat over it. Your first thought may just be that it is pajamas, that it's gone completely static. So everything is clinging to me right now. But this is a pair of satin loose wide leg trousers and a shirt in the same color. As I say, everything is just static right now, but this is essentially just a satin shirt. It is a cord, meaning it's not a pajamas. It is meant to be an outdoor set. You are supposed to wear this out in the real world. My daughter's first thought was, mom, that looks like a pajamas. It looks like you're wearing pajamas. And it all is in the styling. It looks like pajamas like this, but when you have the coat on, it's like, Oh, what is she wearing? I fell in love with the color and I wore this all Saturday and I absolutely love it. It is so cozy, so comfy, but it definitely requires the shoes in order for it not to look like a pajamas. There is not much to say in it. It is from Sheen. It's one of my latest purchases and it's just a color. I absolutely love it. Obviously, you can do so much with the set because you can separate the pieces, wear the trousers with something else, the shirt with something else. So you really get a lot for your money. As I said, forgive me, everything is static to me right now. I don't know what happened. It was fine on Saturday when I wore it. But I love the set and it's just something unusual, something different and great fun. My last outfit for today, what I wore Friday last, so we've now been a full week back. Essentially a black suit, but once again, it follows all the rules I use for dressing an apple-shaped body. It makes me feel put together and confident, yet I'm still very relaxed and it's very, very practical. Again, practicality comes from wearing flat shoes, which is a must in my life. Again, I went for the pointy shoes. These ones are just a flat little ballerina one absolutely love these shoes i have my wide leg pair of trousers on these are two mixed matching pieces they just happen to be black all the pieces apart from the t-shirt actually are from sheen again but anyway a blazer is a little bit different because it doesn't have a lapel on it which i like and again because it's different from the other ones i normally have on my t-shirt is from a company called vitera and it's a company i've worked with a couple of times they specialize in t-shirts and the quality is amazing this one was gifted to me some months ago but I'm in absolute love with it and because it has this neckline here with that bright white on it I mirror that in my belt and in my shoes so it just kind of like all works together again it's a basic easy outfit but as I said confident stylish and it suits my body shape so well again what belly absolute perfect outfit for my body shape but that is it for today. That is all the outfits that I have worn in the past week. I hope, if nothing else, that it has given you a bit of inspiration to how you can mix and match the pieces that you have in your wardrobe. If you made it this far and sat through the ads for me, thank you very much because that's how you help my channel grow. If you would help me further, please, would you leave me a comment with a, shall we say, a green heart for today's video. This is simply just tell me how far in the video that you have made it, if you made it to the end and stayed with me. But thank you very much for watching and I I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.